Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video, I will start a series about how you can develop the dashboards into Shiny. So as you are aware that Shiny is a web application framework within the R Studio or within the R Programming where you can take the advantage of its uh, capabilities where you can develop data products like this which you are seeing right now which is pretty much a live application capturing the details from the CRAN about what are the uh, packages which are getting downloaded in almost in past five minutes or so. So that's basically an example of uh, Shiny Dashboard and the kind of the capability that you can get it from the uh, Shiny Dashboards when you implement it on your data. And as you know that creating an analysis is an important part but showing it in some sort of a form where users or the end users can consume it is really, really important. So that's why I wanted to start this series to give you an idea about uh, how you can create the Shiny application from scratch or to be very specific Shiny dashboards from the scratch and create a KPIs like this, a chart like this, or maybe bar chart or line chart or some other interactive charts which are displaying the information either static or dynamic like this based on the data that you are providing. Apart from that, you can also have some controls like this where you have the slider, you have dashboard, you have the information about raw data and you know number of rows to show. So kind of a control everywhere that you have uh, related to the uh, data that you are providing. So it's a very fine controlled dashboard that you can develop for your end users and to be very honest developing this is a very very simple task and that's the beauty about the shiny dashboard so without uh, much talking let's go and make our hands sturdy with the code of the shiny all right here i am in the r studio where i have a very very familiar structure of any shiny application where you need to have ui.r and server.r with the basic functionality. So this is the template that I think you should have or save it somewhere so that you don't have to write this minimum code uh, again and again when you are starting your uh, project on Shiny Dashboard. So what we are basically saying here is that we are importing the library Shiny, which is important to use its component. Second one is Shiny Dashboard so that we can use its methods, objects and properties. Uh, for creating that uh, good looking dashboard and then within the shiny UI which is part of the shiny library we are creating the dashboard and as you can see all of this page header sidebar body have a prefix of dashboard that means it is coming from the shiny dashboard so with the help of these two packages what we are saying that within the shiny UI create a dashboard page and this this particular uh, function is capturing three different function the first one is saying that create the dashboard header create the dashboard sidebar that means the sidebar that you just saw on the left hand side where you had some controls and menus like dashboard and raw data and finally the dashboard body that means that central location where we were displaying the chart or text data or tables so that's the minimum requirement to create the uh, infrastructure or probably I would say the main screen uh, on which you can you can paint your picture related to the charts or objects that you want to create after de declaring all this what we need to do in within the server the minimum requirement is to have this shiny server function so that uh, your application can run so what we are doing nothing but we are just importing those two libraries and within shiny sh server we are saying function input and output and we are just closing it we are not doing any declaration or anything as of now so that's the minimum structure that you can have for your shiny dashboard so let's quickly go ahead and run this by hitting the run app and as you can see this is the minimum structure is created for us so you have header you have sidebar and you have this body so this is what you have declared and that's what you have got in just few lines of code and if i compare it with this that's what they have done in the past but they have other components and we will see how we can get it 
all right so let's go back to our application and uh, see how we can further customize it so first of all about the uh, dashboard header so let's say probably you want to give a name to your dashboard or maybe a company name or anything so what you can do is use the title parameter of it and say this is the header and save it so after this uh, what you need to do um, so this is showing red line that means some problems here. I need to declare it in the dashboard header over here not in the dashboard page so that dashboard header will show the uh, title which is this is the header and let's save it and quickly run it to see how it is coming so this is the header that's where it will be placed all right and after that uh, what we can do is we can add some sort of customization let's say to the sidebar and maybe let's say we want to add some menu so here in this case you have options like menu menu item menu item output and menu sub item but we will look at these two menu item and menu sub item so let's first go ahead with the menu item and again the you know the creation is very simple just at the minimum just provide the text to it and it will create it menu item one let's say we want to create menu item two and maybe third is menu item three all right so these are the three we have created let's save it and i'll stop the previous run and run it again all right so you have menu item one menu item two menu item three and as you can see the link is also enabled if i'm clicking on anything it will be displaying it but since we have not controlled it from the perspective what needs to be shown when you are hitting the menu item one you are not able to see anything but just the blank page but the idea is that you have got these three menu items that you can get it uh, on the left hand side like this you have dashboard or raw data so similarly you have menu item one two and three we can change it to anything like a normal uh, dashboard which is here in this case dashboard and then maybe detailed analysis because after moving through moving out from the dashboard people want to go in the detail analysis and finally into the raw data to look further deeper into it if i save it and stop the previous one and run it again it will show those three ones so that's very very easy to go ahead and create the menu items out of it all right let's move on maybe after this you have the requirement where within the menu item you need to create two different menu items maybe dashboard one or dashboard two or something like dashboard for sales department and dashboard for the finance department so for that also you have uh, very easily create menu sub item uh, and you can say dashboard uh, finance maybe and menu sub item let's say dashboard sales a comma and you are done nothing that you really need to be worried about uh, how to create or program it simply keep on specifying the different functions which are present in the shiny dashboard like this and keep on adding the menus so i'll stop and show you by running the app so here you have dashboard and with these two arrows indicating that this is the sub item you got dashboard finance dashboard sales detailed analysis raw data after adding all of this information about header information uh, menu information other things that you can do is adding the controls like this where you have slider control uh, the kpi is like this where you are seeing the different numbers which are highlighted at the top and the uh, charts and other controls which is uh, placed properly on the location of a body so all of that thing we will be seeing in the upcoming video and in this video we have just built the basic foundation about how you can create the structure 
and how you can create these menu items with the help of this very very simple code about uh, shiny dashboard and the shiny ui so i will meet you in the next video with uh, connecting more dots where you can connect your menu items sub menu items and to a particular page and then create the different sort of visualizations within those respective pages.